Hello, I'm Korean Sunny Sam. Today, I'm going to introduce uh, for the word shooting and sentence shooting in Qatar Airways. It's kind of presentation or public speech. So that let's have a look for tips and uh, question list. So what's a presentation? Presentation is the second day of interview process. Uh, do you remember the CB drive was the first interview process in Qatar Airways, right? The one who passed the CB drop, they can have an interview for presentation and the Amnich and English test. So-called word shooting or sentence shooting. Sometimes some people call the word shooting or sentence shooting. It's because uh, they make a sentence with the word or sentence. Uh, the question is like almost same question like CB drop questions. Do you remember that the all the question you got this in CB drop? For example, when do you feel happy and what color motivates you and what makes you special like this? So those CB drop question you will get in word shooting or sentence shooting process. Uh, recently, Qatar doing this instead of group discussion. So maybe like three or four years ago, Qatar Airways also doing like group discussions. However, like this day, they stop the discussion and they do like word shooting and sentence shooting. So that interview process become more simple and easy in Qatar. So this interview is to one one or man to man interview so it takes only like five minutes that's it finally selected the person go for final interview and this presentation has like two way so one is paper peak or the other way is showing screen i re i will show you so first um interviewer like give you folded paper then you pick one and then you, if you open the paper there is a, some word so with the happiness you can make a story about like 30, 30 seconds or you can explain about what's the meaning of happiness the other way is like interviewer show some screen like ipad there is like some word like for example obsessive so interviewer showing this word obsessive and ask you about what's the meaning of the obsessive or make some sentence by using obsessive anyway there's a two way of um, this interview first you can pick the paper or interviewer show some pad with that some word so let's have a look for tips for presentations first do not talk too much simple and easy and do not talk fast, slowly and clearly. Uh, it's because it's a Kevin Curry interview. It's not an English test. So that don't be panic if you don't know about the word or if you got the difficult sentence or difficult word. Interviewer just um, check your image or whether your image is fit for our company or not. So. Don't be panic even if you got the difficult word or some difficult topic. So, uh, show your big smile. They will like your smile more. And don't pretend to know something you don't know. Um, imagine you got the uh, difficult word or something you don't know, but don't pretend because they don't like and they actually hate that pretending something you know. If you got something difficult or um, have no idea, just simply and gently ask the meaning or ask, can I get another easy one? Then they will like let you know meaning or give someone another easy one. So I can say, good attitude is all you need. Attitude is the all good things. Remember, this is Kevin Curry interview. Attitude and image is most important thing.
So these are the question lists of the word shooting that applicant got a question recently. So number one is obsessive. An interviewer have a question, give a question for you, like make a sentence by using obsessive. So how can you make a sentence with this word? Maybe you have to know about the actual meaning, right? So uh, when you make a sentence, you make it short, simple, easy, and clear with smile, like this lady, right? I am very obsessive about the punctuality because I don't want to be late on my workplace. So you can make a sentence with this by using obsessive, simple and easy. And the number two is ironic. Also, interviewer ask you about these questions. Tell me about the meaning of ironic. So maybe you I have no idea about ironic, but you need to study, right? So how can you make a like answer with this? Short, simple, easy, clear with smile with this lady. So you can answer like this. Ironic is opposite of the truth. A few days ago, I found an article about ironic and love. Isn't it ironic we love the one who hurts us and hurt the one that loves us? You can make sentence like this way. For the non-English speaker, this word and study and understand might be very difficult. However, you can just review before you go for an interview. So by using a dictionary, you can find out the words and uh, make a sentence before. Then you might have more relaxed and easy interview for the next. So let's have a look. 1 to 20. What word? Shooting? Question? Um, the other interview ask before right so number one obsessive number two ironic number three spiritual number four dream number five religion number six death penalty number seven immigrations number eight cell phone usage number nine uh, biofuel number 10 diet number 11 fashions number 12 um, terrorism number 13 cigarette smoking number 14 creationism number 15 pageant number 16 uh, lottery number 17 media control number 18 marriage number 19 democracy number 20 drinking age also have a look uh, what what question of sentence shooting the other in applicant got before so there's a 1 to 20, so let's have a look for the um, questions. Number one, when do you feel happy? It's easy, right? Number two, why do you think people abandon a child after adopting them? Number three, what if you feel a uh, disability? Number four, why people get married? Number five, what kind of service do people want these days? Number six, what color motivates you? Number seven, what makes you special? Number eight, what do you think plastic surgery? Number nine, tell me about your childhood memory. Number 10, what is the most unhealthy food? Number 11, tell me three things about your personality. Number 12, what sports do you think the most dangerous and why? Number 13, what do you think you lose when you have a birth? Number 14, what is your strongest sense? Number 15, did your parents read, your, uh, read a book when you were little? Number 16. What are the rules to follow on the bus? Number 17. What the funniest activity in camping? Number 18. What specialties should a doctor have? Number 19. What is the most popular food in your country? Number 20. What do you think are the manner to keep on the subway? So there's a 20 um, question. The other applicant got sentence shooting. When you make this um, answer, the key is like uh, make it simple and positive. Yeah. So imagine you got the um, this question. What if you met a disability? So make it sim short, simple, easy, clear with smile. Yeah. First, I approach and ask whether he or he need my help. If say yes, 
then I would gently help and guide, even if they know I would respect him or her. So now check the uh, those um, question and write about the notes and the uh, write about your answer even, and reviewing and repeat and repeat, then you will gotta like fluent and even you got the confidence, right? Thank you for watching my videos and please like and subscribe. Hope it helps you motivate and help for your interview. Pinga cross. Thank you.